The gloves are off between Democrat Josh Shapiro and Republican Doug Mastriano. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is in Aston right now where Mastriano and Shapiro supporters rallied for votes today. Madeline? Good evening, Yuki, Jessica. Pennsylvanians will elect a new governor for the first time in eight years. Today, one of the candidates, Doug Mastriano, made a stop here in Delaware County. More than 300 people were in attendance to hear him speak. Republican candidate for Pennsylvania governor Doug Mastriano is campaigning on a platform of boosting the state's fossil fuel industry and creating jobs. Yes, Ron DeSantis is showing us the way ahead for Pennsylvania, right? Our goal is to make Pennsylvania the Florida of the North. The state senator and former Army colonel spoke before a packed crowd at Gatsby's Bar and Grill in Aston during a campaign stop Wednesday afternoon. I appreciate the 30 years he spent serving our country and the fact that he wants to continue serving our country. Uh, he's got my vote. Mastriano is running against Democratic Attorney General Josh Shapiro to replace outgoing Governor Tom Wolf. Outside the restaurant, Shapiro supporters protested Mastriano's visit. Delaware County is going to be 110% behind Josh Shapiro. A recent poll puts Josh Shapiro at more than 48%, Mastriano 44%. Shapiro's campaign paints Mastriano as an extremist backed by former President Donald Trump. He already tried in Washington to participate in the insurrection, and we do not believe that the Pennsylvania voters should have their votes decertified. Political expert Michael Sanchez says with two and a half months till election day, there's still plenty of time for both candidates to make their case. A lot of people, they probably know more or hearing more about the Fetterman Oz race in the Senate, and that, that one is certainly important too. But I mean, in terms of the daily lives of Pennsylvanians, the governor's race um, is, is just way more important. Neither Mastriano nor Shapiro were available for an interview today. The general election is on November 8th. Whoever wins the governor's race will be sworn in on January 17th. Live in Aston, Madeline Ray, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Madeline, thank you for that. And we will provide continuing coverage of all the top races in our area now through Election Day.